Yo, good evening people. Welcome back to Danny AOC TV. I'm a classic with my laptop. I'm doing a quick one on my phone because it's different uploading a video than to going live. So I can go live. I couldn't figure out how to just do um, a video. So let's just make sure it still works for my phone. Fucking please God. <clears throat> Thanks for everyone that's lit up the live shows. Obviously I've been going live recently. So shouts out to you all. Big yourselves all up, man. Um, yeah, you're all massively large, but yeah quick one it's late at night Diego Costa has had his contract terminated at um, Atletico Madrid surprising that guy used to kind of haunt us when he played for Chelsea do you know what I mean he come like a not as bad as Drogba but he certainly used to terrorise us um, Isco Isoko what are you going to call him yeah that's definitely gaining some fucking big ass media traction it does look like there's something in that um, and who knows and everyone that was breaking yesterday big time was the Coutinho, the Kiyoko Jobson guy. Coutinho was back on the list of um, wanted players at Arsenal. Now it appears he's got a knee, a knee injury and he's going to be out for a period of time. So that probably, even though we've bought injured players in January before, do you know what I mean? But uh, a couple. Denis Suarez and who was that other guy a few years before that on the vendor? Fuck me. But yeah, the Buendia thing. Buendia, the Norwich midfielder. Argentinian, Argentinian attacking midfielder. That's definitely not going away. Some people have said we've made a 14 million bid. Some people reckon we have to bid up to 25 million pound. Some sources are claiming that the personal terms and fee has been agreed. And we're going to release it as early as the 2nd or the 3rd of January. I don't know. If true, I'm not overly gassed. I'm gassed to get anyone in at the moment. But I mean, is he really the answer? I think it's a lot of pressure. On a 23 year old coming from the championship being that guy that's got to be that dot the connecting dot to fucking making arsenal creative again like because obviously we've we ain't been creative we ain't been a creative team since i've said come in bollocks we are linked with a lot of people well not a lot it's a lot of the same old um zaha seems to be available in january um there is a few teams um on to him I know there's one foreign one as well. I'm looking down on the list because I've sort of looked at a couple of... I know Everton are definitely in for him. And it was PSG suggested. But anyway, Zaha seems like he could be available. He could be getting his wish and getting a fuck out of Crystal Palace. West Ham and Wolves are favourites to get uh, Costa. Costa seems like he wants to come back to England. The rumours are he wants to come back to London. That started the whole Arsenal link. But apparently Arsenal have shut this one down. What do you think about that first one for the comments? Would you have brought a Costa? Try and cash in on Lacazette, get Costa for a couple of seasons. Would that have been a bit of you? I'm not so sure, but yeah. Anyway, Ericsson is still linked. Anything between an eight and twelve million pound deal could be done quite easily for Arsenal in summer. So sources suggest this is quite easy. The guy wants out. In the Milan want him out and off their wage bill. He would like to come back to England, London particularly. If we were to go somewhere, it seems like a really easy deal to complete, but. Again, he's not up for me. It's gone quiet with the Eric Garcia. Sources again saying Barcelona are ready in a £7 million bid for the out-of-contract 19-year-old Spanish Man City defender. Uh, Kalasnach apparently could be going on loan to Schalke. Uh, we're going to subsidise some of the wages. Bollocks. Absolutely unbelievable. We give someone high wages like that. A lot of people, a lot of you lot think he's on about hundred grand a week. Um, I've had it sworn to me he's on 180 grand. So we got him on a, the free Bosman style, whatever you want to call it. Whatever it is, he earns way too much, isn't it? And he's got to go. We've been linked with RB midfielder Marcel Sabitza. Apparently, he's valued at around £45 million. I've seen RB quite a lot, but when I watch, watch them, I have to admit, I'm looking at um, Upper Mancano Canati a little bit more, as I think we need the, the defender pretty badly. The Rekic deal is done. That was done as part of the Guendouzi thing last, the last window. Don't get it all twisted. He's coming over for his medical. He's doing this. No, no, no. That was done as part of the Gwen Luzi deal. 900,000 a little while ago. It's been said 600,000 today. I believe it's been 900,000 and the deal was done when Gwen when, when Doozy, unfortunately, fucked off to Germany. And then the source is saying we've been linked. Oh, no. Arteta wants three. Uh, free, uh, fuck me, Danny. He wants three players. A goalkeeper, a defender, and an attacking midfielder. I think he's got a perfectly good defender. Let's not open the whole William Saliba thing. I think there's a fucking good defender there going begging. I'm going to run into a couple of other things that I'm going to have dug out from um, other Premier League teams and rivals. Man United, they're linked with everyone. £80 million bid for Grealish. And everyone's just not sure if it's going to be January, more likely to be in the summer. I can see that happening. They've got 
Paul Pogba, even though he's unhappy. They've got Fernandez. They've got Donny van der Beek. But fuck it, we're just going to add Grealish to this as well. Unreal. Three, man, uh, three players are also wanted by Man United. Oli Gunnar Solskjaer apparently wants three in in January. Could Chelsea be in for Jadon Sancho? Of course, obviously linked the whole of the last window with Man United. Linked them again today, but Chelsea have popped into the mix. Wolves want Costa, same as West Ham, as I said a minute ago. Zaha has been linked to PSG. Um, Pochettino, if all is true, wants Deli Ali and Zaha at PSG. Uh, Leeds have got money to spend in January. A bit vague on who they're after. Zaha Everton mentioned. Liverpool are linked with various central defenders. Not going to go into all of them. I'll mention one. Upper Moncano. Tot Tot uh, Tottenham are linked with Leon Bailey. Man, he smashed it in Germany, but for me, a bit inconsistent. He's speedy. He's a fast winger. He'd have to turn a bit into that pace into skill, though, if he's going to come to the Premier League. And Man United are linked with Sancho, Grealish, Max Ahrens. Max Ahrens I've seen pretty much everywhere linked with Man United today. What do you think, guys? What does your team need for Christmas? Oh, Christmas is gone. Sorry, what do you need for the new year? The January sales, as they call them. Arsenal need an attacking... I think that would be pretty fair if we needed a goalkeeper, a defender and an attacking midfielder. That would be a lot of good business done, to be honest with you, because Renarsson's pathetic. It would be nice if it was someone that could challenge Leno, a Martinez style. Oh, one I missed out. I don't know how the fuck you say his name. The one that I missed out. Is it Rike Pug? He's linked to AC Milan at Arsenal. He's an up-and-coming Barcelona midfielder. I'm going to say up-and-coming. He's about 2021. But yeah, apparently he's got that sil the silky skill and that beautiful Spanish touch of Cazorla. We know how much we've missed that guy since he burst out of the scene. And he's still smashing it in Spain, Cazorla, man. What a fucking footballer. What is he, 35 now? 36? Still takes on everyone like it's a stroll in the park. Um, but yeah, that about concludes everything. Or well, at least what Arsenal are interested in. <clears throat> Gago Costa, get it in the comments. Where do you think he'll do well at? Who do we most need? Coutinho's injured. Does that make make it more like, more or less a done deal for Buendia at Norwich? Zaha, that's going to piss me off wherever he goes. I have a feeling he'll stay in England. I have a feeling he'll probably go Everton. Garcia, Barcelona. I think that would be a tidy one for us if we're in for a central defender. £7 million, pound, what a bargain. Do you know what I mean? But we're probably hoping it could be done for free in the summer. Bastards. What do you think of this RB midfielder? Marcel Sabitza, who knows about him? Get it in the comments. And if Arsenal were to be interested in three players in January, give me three realistic names that we could go for. Goalkeeper, centre-half, and of course an attacking midfielder. Get it all in the comments if you would. Shouts out to all the new subscribers, old subscribers in fact. Shouts out to each and every single one of you. I love you all. Again, thanks for making the live shows lit. I will be live again, of course, West Brom. Um, yeah, man, some absolute matters. Absolutely getting in the comments, like, absolutely large, though. It's been, it's been kind of big, like, got to get the shows a bit busier, making sure them comments fly faster, but, yeah. It's been all good, two shows, isn't it, like, it's not bad. I'm going to get into a few shouts and dedications. Kamala, Ricky McGuinness, Keith, new subscriber yesterday, Richard, Stephen, Hanyumi, Samlek, Thomas, and Emma. Blah, blah, blah. Merry Christmas, as it was. It's gone, but happy fucking New Year. We'll be doing a New Year's Eve video tomorrow. Linda, Joshua Dunn. Joshua wants to shout out Stefan the Great Dame. Stefan the Great Dame. Brap. Hope you're watching Danny AFC TV. Thanks for all the love and support, my friend. Shouts out to you, Joshua. What's going on, mate? Um, Brendan. Who's that? Sharon. We've got Lakey. We've got Steve. We've got Andy. And of course, Sean from Sporting Area. Rusty B. What's going on, mate? Straight for the end. Craig Simon. Arsenal FC Ross, what's going on, mate? Another new subscriber. I've subscribed to you back, brother. Twitter's dude. Everyone on Twitter. Do you know what I mean? Literally everyone on Twitter. Even though my tw Twitter is quiet enough. Fuck down, innit? I'll have to spice something up, draw someone out. Or just fucking smash them and then bars onto Twitter. That's actually quite a good idea. Start triggering a couple of them Twitter bitches, you know? But listen, shouts out. Peace to you all. I'm not going to delay it. Um, as I said, West Brom is on. Saturday, I think it's 8 o'clock kickoff. One second, guys. Where the fuck is my phone? I'm using my phone. You fucking retard, Danny. Let me get my other one. One sec, one sec, one sec. The last game of 2020, sorry, before I go, was Newcastle-Liverpool. It was 0-0. I haven't catched the game today, but it doesn't seem like I missed too much, so thank you. Um... But let me run into actually the weekend game. The weekend scores quickly and then I'm out. Shouts out to True Blue Tattoo. Dan, 
and all the Dynaholic crew, what's going on? I heard from you in a bit, mate. But yeah, today Tottenham obviously Fulham was postponed. Apparently, I think some of the Fulham boys have come down of Corona. Newcastle nil, Liverpool nil. Is it true? Um, I've not seen it. I've been watching Sky for the last little while, so I take it as bullshit. But someone told me Sam Allardyce had Corona and wouldn't be at the game tomorrow. Um, Saturday, sorry, but it looks like that could be bullshit. Obviously, yesterday Brighton nil, Arsenal one, Burnley one, Sheffield United nil, Sheffield United man, he's gonna get sacked. Mr. Wilder, Southampton nil. West Ham nil, quite a good result for the Hammers there. West Brom nil, Leeds five, fuck me. And Man United beat Wolves one nil, they nicked it. 93rd minute, third minute of stoppage time. Wow, you fuckers. Okay, today as I said, la la la, there is no games. I think the next games for the Premier League is Friday. Everton, West Ham, Man U, Villa, Saturday. Fuck me, this fine slow. Tottenham Leeds. Not a bad game. They just come off a 5-0. Mm, sorry. Palace, Sheffield United. I think Sheffield United are banging trouble. Brighton, Wolves. Brighton have to sort themselves out as well. And obviously West Brom, Arsenal. And then Sunday is Burnley, Fulham. Newcastle, Leicester. And fuck me. Chelsea, Man City. 4.30pm. Kick off. Watch along, watch along, watch along, Chelsea, Man City. Nah, I don't think I'm going to be doing watch alongs for other teams. But listen, guys. Shout out to everyone. I love you all. Dan, Dan Bailey, get in the next live show, which will be West Brom. Please, guys, start getting into the live shows. Um, start getting the likes on the videos. It's going to start getting all important for me soon. So I'm begging you guys. Um, yeah, man, be nice on it. Be nice. Get the likes up and do the right thing. Listen for tonight, though. I'm going to love you and leave you. I'm going to download this video. Get it up to Twitter. Get it onto my YouTube page, obviously. I hope it goes onto the laptop. Laptop is banging. Everything's been sick. Shout out. And here's the special shout out of the evening. The guy that's made a lot of this shit happen on Danny AFC TV, Mr. Easy. Oh my God! Yeah, he's come with everything from headphones to to the to the digital camera that was uh, the camera. Sorry, that was mad. That attaches to the laptop. The the, the the quality of the film on the laptop itself was pretty good, but he grabbed that as well. The laptop is banging. A little sexy Dell. I sat the Apple a bit fiddly, didn't like it, and it was an old model. I'm not gonna lie, it was a two ten, and I wasn't sure. Last couple of bits I've got to do is probably fix a green screen, maybe sort out the light, the sound, but let me know what you think of the light and sound, guys. It's important to me. And yeah, I've got to get, um, I know what I've got to do to get the comments on the screen and everything. Shouts out to Brandon on that one. Respect, bruvs, innit? No, you're not hating at all, you know what I mean? I asked you a straight and direct question today, bro. I need to know how to do this. You come back with straight and direct answers. Respect, bruvs. Easy, Brandon. Stars of today, especially you, Easy, innit? You're a star every fucking day. But respect to you too, easy Brandon. Guys, I'm out the place. Back tomorrow, New Year's fucking new video. Probably going to be early because if I do it late, I'll be fucking smashed, tripping all over, all over the gaff. But then again, you guys like that sometimes. Shouts out to Linda also. She kind of lit up the fucking live streams. Oh, dearie me. Can you me? How did I forget you as old, bros? Who have I forgot? You weren't even on the list. Fucking bang. Terrible. Sam Lex, sure, I've already said you. But peace and love to all of you. Respect until tomorrow. Happy New Year, people. And yes, we've got a New Year's Eve video tomorrow. Good night. Respect. Love you all, YouTube. Get subscribing. If you're new, get subscribing, please. Respect. Happy New Year. I'm out the building, people.